this video, we're going to learn how to multiply mixed numbers. So at the top of our screen, it says to multiply mixed numbers, convert each mixed number into an improper fraction, then multiply straight across, cross reducing when possible. So basically, we're going to change each mixed number into an improper fraction and then just multiply like we would a normal fraction. So example one is two and four fifths times three and one third. So we're gonna start by changing the mixed numbers into improper fractions. And remember to change a mixed number into an improper fraction, we are going to multiply the denominator by the whole number. So for two and four fifths, we're gonna multiply two by five, which is 10. Then we're gonna add that to the numerator. So 10 plus four is 14. That is our new numerator and our denominator stays the same. So we get two and four fifths is the same as 14 fifths. We're gonna do the same thing for three and a third. So multiply three by three, which is nine, add the numerator of one to get 10. That's our new numerator. Keep our denominator as it is. So we get that three and a third is equal to 10 thirds. And now we're gonna multiply across, cross reducing and simplifying if possible. So we can't simplify either fraction, but we can cross reduce. So we can cross reduce the five and the 10 because they're both divisible by five. So we're gonna divide them both by five. Five divided by five is one. 10 divided by five is two. So now we have 14 times two on the top, which is 28. One times three on the bottom, which is three. And finally, we wanna just change this back into a mixed number. So three goes into 28 nine times and three times nine is 27, so we have one left over. Put that over our denominator of three. So we get nine and a third as our answer. Let's take a look at example two, which is 10 and one eighth times two and two ninths. So we can't simplify either of the fraction parts of our mixed numbers, so we just wanna start by changing both mixed numbers into improper fractions. So for the first one, we're gonna multiply eight times 10, which is 80 and add the numerator of one to get 81. Keep our denominator as it is, so we get 81 eighths. For our second fraction, we're gonna do two times nine, which is 18. Add the numerator of two to get 20, so we get 20 ninths. And now we definitely wanna cross reduce for this one because I don't wanna to have to multiply 81 by 20. So we can cross reduce the 81 and the nine and the eight and the 20. So 81 and nine are both divisible by nine 81 divided by nine is nine. Nine divided by nine is one. And eight and 20 are both divisible by four. Eight divided by four is two. 20 divided by four is five. So now I have nine times five on the top, which is 45. Two times one on the bottom, which is two. And finally, we're gonna change this back into a mixed number. So two goes into 45 22 times. 22 times two is 44, so we have one left over. So we get 22 and a half. Let's take a look at two more examples. So for these last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own, and then you can watch me work through the problems to see if you got your answers correct. So example three is four and four fifths times three and seven eighths. So we're gonna start by changing each mixed number into an improper fraction. So for the first fraction, we're gonna do four times five, which is 20, add that to four to get 24 as our new numerator, and keep our denominator the same, so we get 24 fifths. And then for the second fraction, the same thing. So we're gonna do three times eight, which is 24, and we're gonna add seven to that to get 31 as our new numerator, keep our denominator the same. And now we're gonna see if we can cross reduce. So we can only cross reduce the 24 and the eight. We can divide them both by eight. 24 divided by eight is gonna give us a three. Eight divided by eight is going to give us a one. Now we're gonna multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So three times 31 is going to give us 93 on the top. Five times one is gonna give us five on the bottom. And now I need to change this into a mixed number. So five goes into 93 18 times, and 18 times five is 90, so we have three left over. So we get 18 and three fifths as our answer. Let's take a look at our last example. So our last example is six and one ninth 
eighths times three and three elevenths. So same thing, we're gonna start by changing each mixed number into an improper fraction. So for the first one, we're gonna do nine times six, which is 54. Add this one to get 55 as our new numerator. Keep our denominator as it is. For three and three elevenths, three times 11 is 33, plus three is 36. So we get 36 elevenths. And now we're gonna see if we can cross reduce and luckily we can cross reduce the 55 and the 11 and the 36 and the nine. So 55 and 11 are both divisible by 11. 55 divided by 11 is five. 11 divided by 11 is one. Nine and 36 are both divisible by nine. Nine divided by nine is just one. And 36 divided by nine is four. So now we multiply the numerators. Five times four is 20. Multiply the denominators. One times one is just one. And anything over one is just itself. So 20 over one is just equal to 20. So we get 20 as our final answer. So that's all the examples we're gonna do for multiplying mixed numbers. Hopefully this video has helped you guys. So just remember when you're multiplying mixed numbers, you need to first convert them to improper fractions, and then you're just gonna multiply them as you would normally multiply a fraction. So you're gonna multiply straight across, and you're gonna cross reduce and simplify the fractions when possible.